Hello everyone. In my previous video, you have studied about latitudes, which are imaginary lines drawn on the earth running from east to west. Now you will learn about some of the important parallels of latitudes. So let us start. Beside the equator, the north pole and the south pole, we have four other important parallels of latitudes. The first one is the Tropic of Cancer. It is in the northern hemisphere and its value is 23 and half degrees north. The second one is the Tropic of Capricorn. It is in the southern hemisphere and its value is 23 and half degrees south. The third one is Arctic Circle at 66 and half degrees north of the equator. And the last one is the Antarctic Circle at 66 and half degrees south of the equator. Do you know there is something very interesting about these latitudes? They divide the earth into three heat zones. What are heat zones? Heat zones are different areas of the earth where the sun's rays fall differently which causes differences in the climatic conditions. I am sure you would be curious to know more about these heat zones. The three heat zones of the earth are torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. Let us learn about each one of them in detail. The first one is torrid zone. All places located between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn experience the vertical rays of the sun. Or you can say that the midday sun is exactly overhead at least once a year on all latitudes in this area. Therefore, the area receives the maximum heat and is called the torrid zone. The second one is temperate zone. All the places beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn receive slanting rays of the sun. The angle of the sun's rays goes on decreasing towards the poles, due to which the areas bounded by the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere have moderate temperature. These are therefore called temperate zones. The third zone is known as the frigid zone. The areas lying between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere and the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere are very cold. It is because here the sun does not rise much above the horizon. Therefore, its rays are always slanting and provide less heat. These are therefore called frigid zones. So children, that was all about the heat zones of the earth. Hope you found my video interesting. Do like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more such interesting videos. Thank you everyone.